good guys? In this video, we're gonna be breaking down how to create this one frame shake effect, super smooth and clean effect. And before we get into the video, I wanna let you guys know that I'm currently running a Black Friday deal on my website where it's 50% off on all editing packs. It's the biggest sale of the year and it ends on December 1st, which is Cyber Monday. So if you wanna check it out, you can go to motionvisuals.shop link will be down in the description let's get right into the video all right so the first thing we're going to do in order to create that one frame effect is go to where the cut is between your two clips and i'm just going to go back one frame so if you click the page up button on your keyboard that goes back one frame and click Control shift d in order to cut that layer and then i'm going to go back four frames cut this layer again so now we have two cuts within this one clip the next thing we're going to do is actually add a solid so go to your first layer and i'm going to click Control y in order to create a new solid layer and for the color we're going to make this one black make sure that this solid layer is only two frames long so it's going to appear right before that first cut then we're going to create a new adjustment layer Control alt y and also make this adjustment layer two frames. For this layer, we're going to be adding a few effects. So for the first effect, we're going to be adding a noise. Increase that amount of noise to 15%, and then we're going to turn off the use color noise. And then for the next effect, let's add a vignette. Increase the amount. I'm going to increase this to 175, and then let's add a radial blur. For the amount, I'm actually going to decrease this just by a little. Let's increase that to seven. And then if you grab this point right here, which is the center, I'm going to change it so that it goes to our subject's face. By adding that radial blur effect, it just makes it look as if there's like more motion going on as this effect is happening. And then for the final effect, let's add an exposure. Increase the exposure. I want this to be a lot brighter so that it creates like that flash effect. Increase that to 2.5 and let's also increase the gamma correction to 1.5. So that's what we have for this first adjustment layer. We're going to be creating a lot more layers, but we already have like this really cool flash effect. And then we're going to grab this solid layer right here. Click Control D in order to duplicate it then bring it above and bring it forward two frames from this adjustment layer. Then what we're going to do is create another adjustment layer right above this one frame. So let's actually grab the one that we created from before and duplicate that one, then bring it above this one frame layer and then cut this adjustment layer. For this adjustment layer, we're actually gonna be adding a few more effects just so that we create sort of like a different look compared to the layer that we were working from before. Even though it's only one frame and you can't really notice it, I think just adding that little difference will make it look better. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the radial blur settings. I'm actually going to decrease the amount, decrease that to three. Then we're going to add a CC radial blur. And for this effect, I have it right above the radial blur because sometimes when you adjust the order of these effects, it can create a different look so i'm going to have that right above the radial blur and we're going to change the type to fading zoom then increase the amount i'll increase this to like 35 should look good and then grab the center point and i'll just bring it towards the face of our subject for the final effect we're going to be adding a transform add that right below all the other effects and then increase the scale to 130 percent and that just creates this really fast zoom cut effect and it just makes the overall one frame effect look a little more dynamic. So the next thing we're going to do is duplicate this layer, bring it above the second clip, and then make sure that it's two frames long instead of just one frame. Also going to change the radial blur, the center of the radial blur. Just change it to the subject's face. This is what we have for the effect so far. I think that looks really clean. The next thing we're going to do is grab the solid layer from before, duplicate that layer, and then bring it above so that it's two frames forward from this adjustment layer. And I'm actually going to extend this another two frames. So this solid layer is going to be four frames long. Then grab this adjustment layer and duplicate it. Bring it above so that it's one frame forward from this solid layer. And we're going to make this one one frame. I'm also going to change the settings for this as well. So let's have this one even more zoomed in. I'll increase the scale to 160. And then of course we're going to change the center for the radial blur and then change the center for the CC radial blur. And then we're going to duplicate the solid layer again, bring it above. For this one, we're just gonna make it two frames. The final thing we're going to do is duplicate this adjustment layer one more time and change the settings. For this one, I'm going to decrease the transform to 100 and then just change the settings for the radial blur as well as the CC radial blur. So this is what we have for the final effect. 
we have this really cool flicker effect with a bunch of different effects. In order to just add a little more texture to our footage, I think just makes the one frame effect look a lot better. But that is all I have for this video. Remember guys, the Black Friday sale runs until December 1st, which is Cyber Monday. 50% off on all my editing packs. Link will be down in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.